I mean, I do, I do hear Kiddy music in Nigeria, Kwame Ju music in Nigeria, even Kwasi also, I hear his music in Nigeria. That's why I know them actually, before I, I came to Ghana. So, their music is a hit in Nigeria. I don't know if because of the legion I am, that's why sometimes something like that has happened. Like, the, play, the side I'm living in, in, in this Ghana right now, normally play Nigeria songs, maybe because of the legion I am. In Nigeria too, I normally hear Ghanaian songs, so I don't think there is any difference between Nigeria's playing Ghanaian songs and Ghanaians playing Nigeria songs. I think they are more, but Nigerians are more populated. More populated as in they are, they are, they, it's, a, it's, a, it's a huge country, so I think that Nigeria is going to beat Ghana when it comes to music and globalization, something like that. So we say a lot of things, like everybody has his, his or her opinion when it comes to music. I've been in Ghana for a year now and I think Ghana, Ghana, some of Ghanaian music actually, the people I know, there are songs that hit, very, very hit because it's, they are also playing the songs in Nigeria and I think that it's not only in Nigeria, they are also going to be playing the songs on, in some other countries. So I think that Ghanaians are really, really doing very well when it comes to music, Afrobeat precisely. And I don't think it's really it's, 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 it's what, it's what is happening because when it comes to fans, your fans are from everywhere. If your if your music is a hit, your fans can come from several countries. So I, I don't think Ghanaians are the only people make, engaging and they're following the celebrity followers. So I think it's global. Yeah. Oh, I know the way for you